I'm assuming that by now, most of you know that Apple is working on a pair of AR glasses. The Apple glasses. We've done quite a few videos on those already, which you can watch right here. But did you guys know that Apple is also working on an actual VR headset? which they will launch before the Apple glasses, with reports saying that they will come out as early as next year. So, without any further ado, here's everything we know about Apple's VR headset. This video is sponsored by Realme and their brand new Realme 8 Pro, a phone that has the same 108 megapixel resolution as the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra from last year. But unlike the S20 Ultra, which had a price tag of 1200 pounds, the Realme 8 Pro costs just 279 pounds, more than four times less than the S20 Ultra, yet it has a very similar camera. Check it out using the link below. Okay, so the first big report on these came out back in 2018 and it was published by CNET. This report stated that Apple was working on a headset that combined both AR and VR functionality, a mixed reality device essentially. The project was codenamed T288 and the specs of this headset were absolutely unbelievable even for today. So they were said to have an 8K display in each eye, uh, giving you an insanely high PPI and therefore making the entire viewing experience very close to actual real life. VR headsets today, such as the Oculus Quest 2, have an almost 2K display per eye. And even at this fairly high resolution, just because of how close you are to the display itself and how the lenses magnify the display, you can easily see the pixels. An 8K display would be 9.43 times sharper than what we have today on the Oculus Quest 2, for example, which is insane. And just to give you guys an idea of how insane this is, the Retina display, which Apple introduced back in 2010 on the iPhone 4, had four times the resolution of the iPhone 3GS. And it turned something that was pixelated like crazy into something that looked like printed paper. Well, this time, we're going to get a 9.43x improvement in terms of sharpness compared to what we have today. Back in that 2018 CNET report, it was stated that this VR headset, which again is not the Apple glasses, as that would be further down the line, this VR headset was said to have a box that it would connect to wirelessly, which would then process all the data and send it back to the headset via 60 GHz Wi-Fi, also known as Wi-Fi 802.11ay, which was supposed to be released in 2019. Now, in 2019, we got 802.11ax um, instead, which is a lower frequency standard that can easily penetrate walls. However, the speeds are indeed lower than when compared to 802.11ay, which is aimed at very high speeds of up to 277 gigabits per second. And yeah, that is not a typo, <laughs> but only at close ranges, unfortunately. What this means is that 802.11ay is perfect for that Apple VR headset as you'll have that box somewhere in your room, sort of like an Apple TV, and then the headset will be able to quickly send data to and from the box and give you that super immersive virtual reality experience. The processor inside the box was said to be an upcoming five nanometer processor by Apple. Now, all of this was reported back in 2018, and we all know that Apple did end up releasing the Apple A14 chip in 2020, which was indeed based on a 5 nanometer manufacturing process. Whereas for the 802.11ay standard, this was drafted in 2019, with an approval happening at some point in 2021 which would be perfect for Apple's VR headset's release date of 2022. And we did have a lot of patents over the years, which pretty much confirmed what CNET were saying in the report. So that's great. But like I said before, all of this was back in 2018. So what are the more recent reports about this? Well, Bloomberg reported back in June 2020 that there was a lot of internal division within Apple because of this AR slash VR project. So according to this report, Apple does indeed have two devices in the works at the moment. The first one is called the N301, which is the mixed reality headset that we were talking about before. Um, and then the second one is the N421, which are the true Apple AR glasses. This report confirms that the mixed reality headset was crazy powerful, 
but it needed that external box to power it, which was what CNET reported almost two years prior. It also stated that Mike Rockwell's team, who are heading the Mixed Reality project, were pretty much in daily conflict with Johnny Ive, who wanted Apple to focus on the Glasses project instead, as Johnny saw them as the superior product. And I agree, the sleek Apple glasses are way more Apple than a big headset that you would put on your head that also needs an external box to work. According to Bloomberg's report, Tim Cook agreed with Johnny Ive, and therefore there was a lot of internal conflict between Tim Cook and Johnny Ive and Mike Rockwell and his team. And in the end, it seems like Apple decided to actually do both. It's just that the VR headset will be first. Okay, but how will this actually work? What are the more recent leaks saying? Well, according to a new patent application from July 2020, Apple plans to make this headset work in AR too, not just VR. And they are planning on having physical controls in the real world, which means that you could have a setting toggle, for example, pretty much anywhere you want, by measuring the residual heat that your fingers would leave on a physical surface for more accurate tracking. Yes, Apple's VR headset might actually have a thermal camera. And back in November 2020, Mike Rockwell had an interview with Scott Stein of CNET where he reiterated how massive AR will be in the future. And he said, and I quote, a few years from now, it will be one of those things where you kind of can remember living without it, just like the internet. Some of you might see this as pretty scary, but I do agree. I do strongly believe that AR is the future. In fact, uh, it is even said that the main reason why Apple added the LiDAR module to the 2020 iPad Pro and the 2020 iPhone 12 Pros is for Apple to get more 3D mapping data from users, which they can use to improve their AR slash VR headsets even further. And just think about it, I've used my iPad Pro, which doesn't even have a LiDAR module as it's the 2018 model, to buy most of the furniture in my actual apartment. Using the IKEA Place app, I was able to see exactly where my furniture would go and how it would look like and then buy it based on that. Apple managed to do all of this perfect tracking by using a single camera module. And their AR is so advanced that it even supports real-time shadows, real-time lighting, and real-time reflections, all of them cast on virtual objects based on the data from the real world. Like imagine how good this will be on the actual headset, if it's already this good using a single camera module. Like you will be able to sit at your desk and see, for example, your music on your right, your calendar and emails in the middle, and then your social media content on your left, just like that. Okay, so most of you watching this video probably have an iPhone. But if you ever wanted to try an Android phone that also had some really good specs and didn't break the bank in terms of cost, at £279 or just around $350, the Realme 8 Pro is a great option. It features Samsung's new 100 megapixels HM2 sensor alongside an 8 megapixel ultrawide camera with a 119 degree field of view. Performance wise, we have the Snapdragon 720G processor, 120 gigabytes of storage, as well as 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty to keep your apps open in the background. The display is a 2400 by 1080 panel with a peak brightness of 1000 nits, which is actually significantly bright for a phone of this price. The second big selling point is the charging speed. It's super thin and lightweight, yet it supports 50 watts of super fast charging to get you up to 50% in just 17 minutes. And third, it still retains the microSD card slot and the headphone jack, which is great to see. And for a price of just 279 pounds, the Realme 8 Pro is the standout all-rounder in this price range. According to a new report from Mark Gurman, both the Mixed Reality headset and the glasses are in development in 2021 right now, with the Mixed Reality headset set to look very similar to the Oculus Quest 2, just smaller and lighter, while the glasses are set to look very similar to regular glasses with a sleek and lightweight design. The same report claims that according to an internal Apple meeting, the Mixed Reality headset would be announced in 2021 and released in 2022, and then the glasses would come in 2023 at the earliest. This report also claims that at least the headset would have its own dedicated app store, which I'm pretty sure the Apple glasses would have one as well once they are released. Another report also from Bloomberg, but one that's far more recent from January 2021, claims that the mixed reality headset would be quite expensive and that the main purpose of it is to be the precursor to Apple's real AR device, which 
would be the glasses. And the main competitors are said to be Facebook with their Oculus device, HTC with their Vive, and Sony with the PlayStation VR. Therefore, Apple would be promoting this as a gaming headset with an insane amount of power, with way more powerful processors than even the M1 Max, according to this report, as well as super high resolution displays. However, Mark Gurman claims that it is supposed to be so expensive and difficult to get that Apple plans on selling a single device per store. That's pretty nuts. This would make it as rare as rare as the gold Apple watches or as a high spec version of the Mac Pro in terms of how few units would actually get manufactured. But luckily, we do have some good news now. Mark Gurman claims that Apple has now managed to make their headsets fully wireless without the need of that external box that we've heard about in the previous reports. And now we have our first images of the headset itself. Well, kinda. So uh, the information drew this schematic based on some internal photos of the prototypes that they have claimed to have seen. And I gotta say, it does look unique. It seems to be super slim, and I can definitely say that the front does indeed match Apple's design language, as it does resemble an Apple Watch quite a lot. Also, imagine wearing that VR headset with Apple's AirPods Max. I think they would go quite well together, like they have a very similar design language. Information also claims that the headset would have two 8K displays, again matching CNET's report from three years ago, as well as multiple cameras for positional tracking plus eye tracking technology, so that the headset can tell which specific part of the screen you're looking at and provide you with more detailed assets in that part of the image. And some fresh patents from February 2021 seem to confirm the eye tracking technology as well as Apple's intent with their upcoming mixed reality headset, which appears to be not just for entertainment, but also for actual productivity too, with one of the patents showing a user wearing the headset while also using a physical keyboard and a physical trackpad alongside it. This report from the information also claims that Apple is looking into multiple ways of controlling the headset, with one of the ways being a thimble-like device that would be worn on your finger so that you can use hand gestures to control it. Although, I'm pretty sure that this will affect that thermal imaging functionality that we were talking about before. Or maybe not, because we do have some fresh patterns on that too from uh, just a few weeks ago on how a finger-mounted controller like this uh, could look like and how it will work and apparently it will leave the tip of your finger exposed which in theory could allow for the thermal camera to pick up the residual heat left by your finger. The information also gave us the first actual price, which, drumroll please, is said to be $3,000. That's pretty insane. Until you take a look at Microsoft's HoloLens 2, which retails for $3,500. And apparently the headband itself would feature surround sound technology with spatial audio support, and you would be able to buy an additional strap with a built-in battery, should you choose to do so, uh, pretty similar to what Oculus is already selling for the Oculus Quest 2. The information also said that it is likely that a headband would also come in multiple colors, although at a starting price of $3,000, <laughs> I don't see many people paying on top of that uh, just for different colored head straps, which you won't even be able to see anyways when you're using the headsets. Designer Antonio De Rosa made some 3D renders of how he believes this headset might look like uh, if Apple were indeed to go with the design depicted by the information. And I gotta say, this does look a lot like an Apple product, so I can indeed see them do something similar. And finally, the most recent report comes from Ming Chi Kuo, who reported earlier this month that Apple's upcoming mixed reality headset would feature not one, not three, not five, but actually 15 different cameras, out of which eight would be used for positioning, one would be used for environmental detection, so likely a LiDAR module that would just map objects in 3D, and then the remaining six ones would be used for innovative biometrics, that's what the report claims. So in the end, it appears that what Apple will be launching is essentially a more advanced version of the Oculus Quest 2, a headset which I've had since launch and one that has truly blown me away. Like definitely check out the previous videos that we've done on the Oculus Quest 1 and 2. Um, and what you should know is that the Quest 2 is actually not a VR headset like most people believe, but in fact, a mixed reality one, as it does have cameras that can indeed pass through video from the outside 
and it also supports AR, although to a limited extent. And I gotta say that the experience of using it in AR is pretty incredible. I mean, sure, it only supports black and white pass-through, but being able to see the menus perfectly overlaid on top of your real world is just magical. And I cannot wait for AR to become even more mainstream with the introduction of Apple's own headsets. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about everything that I talked about in this video? If you have enjoyed it, give it a like and definitely subscribe for more Leaks and Rumors episodes and more in-depth tech videos like this one hopefully was. I'm Daniel, this has been Enough Tech and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Enough Tech, signing out. Cheers.